What's up, YouTube? Savoju here, and welcome back to another Cheryl Crow reaction video. Last time we listened to Cheryl Crow, it was like August 2022, so over a year ago. And I haven't heard any Cheryl Crow since, so I'm excited to get back to it. The song is called If It Makes You Happy. And a quick word from Kona, who is the sponsor of this video. Thank you so much for supporting the channel from Patreon. Um, celebrating Cheryl Crow's induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame this year with this top 10 Grammy winning song from 1996. Notice the blending of rock, blues, and country sounds. So that is really interesting. And if you see here, the song actually is labeled as rock. And it is from 1996, as mentioned. And it's from the album of the same name. And I think this was her second album. Correct. The second studio album. Okay. Again, peaked at number 10. Becoming Crow's final top 10 hit in the United States. And at number 9 in the UK singles chart. Really? Final top 10 solo hit? I don't know. That just doesn't sound right for some reason. <laughs> But Q Magazine does rank this as number 663 on their list of 1,001 best songs ever. And the chart performance reflects that as well, as you can see, around the world. Rather popular. Multiple number ones. Mostly in Canada, it looks like. And where else? Oh, Adult Alternative. It did reach number one for the Adult Alternative chart. Not so much on the top 10. Just barely cracking top 10. Or the top 100, I mean, US. But indeed, number one for adult alternatives. So that is really neat. Adult top 40. And number six, an alternative airplay. Mainstream top 40, number four. So you get the point, right? It's a really popular song. And it has reached platinum status. Hmm. You know what? I'm actually really curious. How many albums does she have? Really? That is really bizarre. How does it not? Oh, I'm so silly. I clicked on the album. Okay, here we go. This is Cheryl Crow. Just very, very curious. Okay, so 1993, 96, 98, 2002, 5, 8, 8, 10. Two albums, and oh, because she did a Christmas album. 10, 13, 17, and 19. So it's been a while, I think, since she's made any recent music. But without a doubt, I am interested in hearing this one especially if it incorporates rock and blues i think that's going to be really fun all right here we go <laughs>
the electric guitar. Beautiful touch. sad oh that was so good oh my gosh i love her attitude on this just the style swag she just absolutely killed this and the um the music is really awesome as well the that fusion that kona had referenced with the uh country rock and blues is definitely there the electric guitar when it came through you know somewhere quarter way through it really added that bluesy feel and also a country feel as well let me see if i can let me see if i can find it real quick here we go i found it it's right here Small stuff like that will add to the overall feel of the song for sure. Especially when you um, take account all the different elements from the genres that are incorporated here. Every little small detail adds to, this, to the song, especially something as distinctive as that sound, like an electric guitar. And it definitely gives off blues and country. And that's what I really enjoyed about this song. It was a rocker, but it also had those other elements as well. So that was super fun. And the chorus is exceptionally, exceptionally addictive. Not to mention, like I said, her overall style, the way that she sings the song, the overall feel of it is very cool. I just, I really enjoyed that though. So thanks to Kona for the suggestion. Let me know what you guys think about this song down below. Down below, and if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that before you leave. Catch you in the next one. Peace.